Example 3. Distance from point Q, 3 minus 2, to the line x equals to minus 5. Well, that is a very simple problem, but let's try to make it complicated. Wow. So what we will do is, we'll show you how to find the equation and how to find the distance between the given point and the line. When I say that the line is x equals to minus 5, what does that mean? Well, that means I have to concentrate on this side, right? Yep. x equals to minus 5, okay? So, no, I should extend this also here because this is also minus 2. Yeah, I didn't see that before. So when I say x equals to minus 5, that means that my line is a vertical line like this, right? And the point here is minus 5, correct? This point here, x-intercept, is minus 5. And that's my line, x equals to minus 5, correct? And I have a point 3 and minus 2. That means 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, minus. Let's say this, this is my point Q, which is 3 and minus 2. So what is the distance between this point and this line? Well, very easy to see that part, right? Like this, we can go shortest distance, 5 units here and 3 units there. Perfect. So the shortest distance is, because this is 3, right? 3 and minus 5. So my distance is 8, right? That's how I can get my shortest distance between the lines and this. That's so simple, right? There's no fun in it. So what I'll do is make it complicated and do the vector's way, okay? So the vector's way is that the shortest distance between a point and the line should be along its normal, correct? So what is the equation of the normal? This is my line, so the normal for this x will be equals to, it is a vertical line. So the normal to this will be a horizontal line. That means the normal here is 1, 0. Is that okay? That's my normal. And let us say we are given some point on the line. And let's assume this point is given to us. So we'll call this point as P, right? So the P point for us is minus 5 and 0. And Q is given to us as always 3 and minus 2. So I'm taking this point for all my examples in different forms, correct? Now, as you know, the projection of this along this side is what we are interested in, correct? So if I join, if I join these two points, right, then my distance is actually projection of this on this, correct? That is along the normal, right? So that is what we are interested in. So distance for me is equals to always absolute value. Is it okay? So what is this P and Q? P and Q is 3 minus 5 take away minus 2, 0, right? So we'll write that. We'll get 8 and minus 2 dot product with the normal which is 1 comma 0 divided by 1 square plus 0 square that is my normal right which gives me 8 over 1 absolute value which is 8 correct I hope you remember this formula it is projection let me write down the formula for you here for a distance when we are doing it we are finding projection so of PQ which is a PQ dot normal divided by the magnitude of normal is it okay that is the formula we are using so this is the projection of PQ on the unit vector normal n over n is a unit vector normal correct and we get 8 which is same as we saw it graphically correct that's how it is but this is very important example it gives you an idea of how we are really finding normal and what does it mean 